Hi guys, in this video, I'm gonna share with you what MetaMask is, why you should use it, and we're gonna give you a quick walkthrough, step-by-step, -step, how to set up your MetaMask wallet right here in this video. All right, guys, welcome back. If you haven't done so, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and make sure you hit that notification so that way you're always getting the latest video sent to you or notifying you so that way you can feel empowered and feel confident while you're growing your cryptocurrency portfolio. Today, we are going to go over the MetaMask software. So first of all, what is MetaMask? MetaMask is a software cryptocurrency wallet it allows you to interact with the Ethereum blockchain. Now, over time, MetaMask has evolved and now you can actually uh, integrate multiple different networks like the Binance Smart Chain uh, in within that MetaMask wallet as well. The unique thing about the MetaMask wallet is that it interacts within your Chrome plugin on your browser or you can actually download it on your phone and you can actually have it interact as a mobile app. And the cryptocurrencies that you actually uh, store within the MetaMask wallet isn't stored on their server. It's actually stored on your mobile phone or on your computer via Chrome browser. So basically it is secure in a sense that as long as you hold your private keys, as long as you protect our password, uh, it will actually reduce the risk of hackers being able to steal your assets. So uh, also the cool thing about MetaMask is that it is the, it, for many of you guys that are new to decentralized application, it is the gateway to blockchain apps. Uh, we call them dApps, which again, I've said it earlier, it's decentralized applications. So within the decentralized applications, you'll enter into the DeFi world. We'll have another video on that later on uh, series. So that way you can learn about decentralized finance. But today we're going to go over MetaMask and we're going to basically set it up for you. So here you are. You want to visit MetaMask.io and you want to make sure that you download MetaMask right here on the website. So you can go ahead and actually click on download. And once you click on download, you have three options. You can do uh, it on Chrome. You can download on iOS or on Android. Uh, for this uh, particular example, because we are on, uh, on my computer, I'm gonna go ahead and actually click on Chrome and I'm gonna click on install MetaMask for Chrome. So right here, it's gonna prompt me to the Chrome web store. I'm gonna click on add to Chrome, add extension. Once I'm done doing so, I'll get this pop-up right here. MetaMask has been added. And now I have this cool little fox right here that just kind of stares at my mouse. Let's click on get started. And now it's gonna give you two options, new to MetaMask. So if you already have a seed phrase, meaning you're importing an existing wallet, you would click on this. If you're creating a new wallet, you wanna click on this. So let's just say that we're gonna go and create a new wallet. It's going to say help us improve MetaMask. MetaMask would like to gather using data to better understand how our users interact with the extension. You can actually give them permission to do so or you may not. And uh, let's just say I'm going to put no thanks. Here you want to go ahead and create a password. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a password real quick. And that way I can just give it to you as an example. Once you're done creating your password and confirming your password, you want to go and click on that you've agreed and read the terms of use. Click on create. Now, once you're done doing this, this is a very important step that you do not want to skip. You are going to be prompt to look and review back up your seed phrase. And again, this is pretty much your private keys. This basically if you lose this or you give this to somebody, they can take all your assets. So you wanna make sure that you write this down, don't take a screenshot, and then once you're done, it's going to actually confirm that you have written down your secret words. So go ahead and actually make sure you look it over, you make sure you write it down and click next. And from this point forward, they wanna confirm your secret backup phase by simply making sure that you write it in the correct order. Go ahead and do so. 
Once you're done writing your secret backup phrase correctly, you want to click on confirm. And congratulations, you passed the test. And from this point forward, you want to go ahead and make sure you keep your seed phrase in a secure location so that way you don't lose it and allow anyone to fish your private keys, your seed phrase, or your password so that way you don't lose your assets. Go ahead and click all done. Once you click done, it's going to prompt me to the home screen where it actually shows you a list of all your tokens within the Ethereum network. Now, like I said, the great thing about MetaMask is that it was made specifically for the Ethereum blockchain, but now you can actually add other networks within the MetaMask wallet by simply actually clicking on the right side here where it says Ethereum mainnet, and you can actually see a list of all the other networks. If you want to add something such as Binance Smart Chain, you can click on custom RPC, and here you can actually get the details of the other network and you can add the network's information right here, save it, and it will actually update your list so that you can have access to that other network or that other chain. Going back to the main page, you can actually buy cryptocurrency, you can send cryptocurrency, or you can even swap to other cryptocurrencies as well. Let's say, for example, you want to buy Ethereum, you can click on buy, and it'll give you two options. You can do a direct deposit Ether, or you can actually buy Ether with wire. It'll give you two options to be able to do so. Do you have to buy Ethereum through here? This is just an option. You can easily send Ethereum to this wallet, copy this address right here, and then paste it to whom or wherever you need to send Ethereum to this wallet. To send Ethereum, you can actually click on send. You can actually put the public address right here. You can actually scan right here. You can swap your tokens for others by clicking swap. And you can also add other tokens within the front homepage here, right here as well. Click on add token. You can search for specific tokens such as USDT. If you want to add it to your main page, click on add tokens. And what you'll notice that whether it's the token that you just added into the MetaMask wallet or it's the Ethereum that was already added by default, you'll notice that, that the address is the same for all the tokens. Also, if you want to be able to export this wallet to another wallet, you can click on these three dots right here, click on account details, and you can actually export the private keys right here. The great thing about MetaMask being installed as a plugin on your Chrome browser is you can now interact with other decentralized applications such as OneInch or Uniswap. To do so, you can easily visit those websites such as Uniswap. Because you have MetaMask already installed as a plugin on your browser, you can interact with all these decentralized applications and actually do swaps. Hopefully this MetaMask tutorial was able to give you a quick idea how to be able to set up your MetaMask wallet and also be able to access other decentralized applications such as Uniswap and all the other DeFi projects out there utilizing this amazing software.